But they have states from 1850, um, it was heavily extended in 1890, and I've tried to replicate it as it was in 1920, when it became a, part of it became a grocer's shop. Um, so it's been a labour of love, it was quite modern when we moved in, and gradually, slowly but surely, since 2004, I've tried to recreate what it once was, nearly 100 years ago. A lot of the stuff in the house is relatively inexpensive because it's a working class cottage, so it's relatively low end stuff and it's quite widely available. Some of the shop stuff is, is a bit more rarer and has been a bit more expensive. Um, what I found the most expensive is recreating wallpaper, such as the wallpaper upstairs. Um, that costs thousands, you know, because you, you've got to get people to design it, art professionals, and you're paying for the design service as well as the wallpaper. The recreation of the grocer's store um, has been uh, a fairly recent project in the last five years because this room was originally when we moved in, I say originally eight, um, 2004, was one through room and it was a dining room and the shop window had been bricked up. So we've opened up the shop window, um, we've had a window recreated based on a picture. Um, people have told us what it was like in terms of the counter and the window display, so we've recreated that. Um, it's very much a showpiece at the moment, it's just for display. The latest project, I've been doing it after, over the last two years, is, is, is basically researching all the objects in the house to make sure they're within the price range and the date period of the 1920 um, recreation. Um, so there's been, it's been quite a heartbreaking process in some sense because I've had to get rid of some really good stuff because I've realised it's you know way too high end for the people that would have lived here and it, you know just as an example the cutlery set I had probably would have would have been um, a year's wages for the people that lived here